to transfer data from old iPhone to new Google Pixel 9 Pro or 9 Pro XL. First of all, I want you to make sure that you've moved the SIM card from your iPhone to the new Pixel as we need to deactivate the iMessage. So once that has been moved, we're going to go into Chrome. We will Google for deactivate iMessage. We'll use the Apple support website. This is the official Apple website, so it's safe to do this. And we first need to deregister iMessage. This is because if you don't do this, your text will go to your iPhone and not your Pixel. So scroll all the way down, enter in your phone number, enter in the verification code. It will send a one-time passcode via text to your Pixel. You enter that one in and it will deactivate iMessage for your phone number. You can still receive iMessages for your iCloud email if you still keep your old iPhone around. Once we've done this, if we haven't set up our phone yet, phone being the Google Pixel 9 Pro or Pro XL, then you head to this setup using another device screen. If our Pixel 9 Pro or Pro XL has been set up, we open settings and then we'll scroll to the very bottom and select the backup or copy data option. Then we will select copy data and it will then bring you to the copy data from another device screen. We'll tap on start and now we should be on the exact same screen regardless if our phone is set up or not. So under choose your other device or set up using another device, you're going to select iPhone or iPad. If you haven't set up your phone yet, it will want you to manually enter in your Wi-Fi and manually enter in your Google account. So you're going to want to get that one done. You then want to head to the copy data from your iPhone or iPad screen and we'll select next. We now need to connect both devices. And so what you need to do is use your old iPhone charging cable and see if it can connect to the Google Pixel. In my case, it can't, you see it can't. And so because of this, we will need to buy an adapter. The adapter is the USB-A to USB-C adapter. If you've watched any videos on the old Google Pixels, the old Google Pixels used to include this adapter in the box. I'm using my adapter from the Pixel 8 Pro, but the Google Pixel 9 series removes this adapter. So you have to buy one separately from Amazon. So I'll connect the adapter into the Pixel and we want to check the iPhone itself. There should be a prompt which appears. It doesn't seem like they've actually detected the connection. There we go. So it took a while. Um, interesting. There we go. So we'll select trust this computer on the iPhone. The iPhone itself must be unlocked to see this trust prompt. And now we see devices are connected and we'll tap on next. So now it's going to search for the files to transfer from your iPhone to the Pixel. So patiently wait for this one. You will then see the data available to copy over and you'll tap on copy to move the data. Now, something you need to note here is not everything's going to be copied because this is an iPhone. It's a completely different operating system. And so stuff that's in iCloud, if it's not moved over, you will need to do the following. You will need to open your web browser and on the browser, head to iCloud.com and sign in with your iCloud account. And so in here, we can always access our notes and we can always access our photos. So for photos, if I go into photos here, this is where all my photos are, which I can view. And if I want to download them to my pixel, let's say that they didn't move over, then I'll tap on select and I'll tap on select all. And then I'll tap the triple dots at the bottom right. And there's an option to download all these photos to our new pixel. And so you just download them and then you can access them. And at any time you can head to iCloud.com and access your iCloud data as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching.